You may have hundreds of customers and vendors or suppliers to add into current. If this is the case, using our bulk import tools is the quickest and most efficient way to do this. If you have an accounts package that links directly with current RMS, those being at the moment QuickBooks Online, Xero, Sage Business Cloud, and NYOB, then importing your customers and vendors directly from your accounts package is advised. Otherwise, using a spreadsheet import will be the best way to import your data. So let's start with the accounts package import. If you click on your photo in the top right hand corner and go to system setup from here. From here, we can select integrations, the third option down. And we can click into the accounts package that we have. So I'm going to use QuickBooks here, but it works exactly the same with our other accounting integrations. Once you click into this page, it's going to ask you to log into your accounts package to connect the two. For your peace of mind, current RMS is not going to automatically send any invoices to your accounting software un unless you click the button to post them. So once you've got this connected up, all you need to do is select import customers. This process it shouldn't take longer than five minutes and it will inform you via email once that has been done. And as soon as it has been done, we can head into people and organizations and very soon we will see this import go through for us. As you can see here, so I had uh, seven records, I've now got 381. And as you can see here, we have imported all of those organizations over from QuickBooks. If the import does fail, it will send you an email with the reasons why. So that is typically because an email address isn't in the correct format, or maybe the state name is wrong or something like that. So if you can't work out why that import is failing, please email us on help at current-rms.com or use the green help bubble in the bottom right hand corner and we will be happy to advise. But yeah, typically you have to go back into your accounts package, make a couple of amendments and then retry the import. Okay, so that is us showing it from the accounts package. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to erase all of my organizations just so that I can show you how import data works uh, with a spreadsheet as well. So let's just go ahead and erase those 375 organizations. Okay, perfect. So you can see here that I've got six records. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share an example spreadsheet for importing data here. So let me go ahead and do that. And as you can see here, this is a an example of that import spreadsheet. It is a simplified spreadsheet. So there are around 20 more columns of information that you can add. However, I'm just showcasing this sheet for simplicity. Uh, this sheet here is a USA organization import file. So if you are from the UK or Australia or other countries around the world, the column headings may be slightly different because, for example, in the UK, rather than states and zip codes, we have counties and postcodes. Contact our support team or email help at current-rms.com if you do need an import template that's relevant to your geography. Um, but once you have filled in this spreadsheet, all you need to do is go to file and export out this spreadsheet as a CSV. And once you have done that, we can head back into current RMS and we can go to system setup again, just in the top right hand corner. We can scroll down to import data. We can select what we want to import. So this will be organizations. And then we can just choose the file that we are looking to import here. So once we do this, we can click upload. And what this is going to do is give us a preview. So the column headings should match identically because it is a perfect template that we used in the first place. But if you weren't using the perfect template and you need to map the column headings to what your spreadsheet says, you can do this at this point. Once you're happy, you can go ahead and click upload. 
and that is just going to go ahead and process this. So you can see there that those five organizations have been created. And if I just head into my people and organizations, I'm just going to filter this specifically for organizations. You can see these five organizations here with different email addresses, phone numbers, and main addresses. Similar to the accounts package import, you will be informed by email if the import has been successful or if it has failed. If it has been unsuccessful, it will provide an error log stating which rows of the spreadsheet need to be reviewed and why. And again, if you're not sure what those errors mean, contact our support team and we'll be happy to help.